Hey guys, so I wanted to talk about something that starts tomorrow. <laughs> um, I honestly feel like time is just flying by. Um, so tomorrow I'm actually starting my bachelor's degree. Yes, bachelor's degree. Um, I decided to just not even go for the associate's degree and just go for the bachelor's. Um, it's not in nursing, if that's what you're thinking. It is actually a bachelor's degree in health science with a focus on community and public health. Sorry, I always like say it wrong. Um, I either say just community or just public health. Um, so that actually starts tomorrow and I'm super excited about it, but I'm also scared at the same time because it's something new and I want to be able to finally get through school um the financials as far as this program are definitely pretty set up for the most part um in my first term i have to take this mandatory class which is like that boring class whenever you're doing online school because the whole program is completely online except for one class where it's like um an internship which I have to figure out um, and set up on my own. Um, so with like a community health agency or public health agency or whatever in my area, um, based on like what I'm interested in going into once I graduate. And I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do after I graduate with my bachelor's degree yet. I'm gonna make a separate video talking more about that as well. But tomorrow starts everything, and I'm taking these two classes like I was just explaining to you, sorry. Um, so it's this stupid class, which is like, I forget what it's called. I think it's strategies for online learning or something like that. But I really don't understand why we need a 10-week class, because the terms at this college are 10 weeks long. And... Um, I don't understand why we need a 10 week class to figure out how to be an online learner. Um, like it's one of those stupid, like orientation type classes where you just have to like figure out how to use the online learning platform. If you've ever done like an online school program degree before, um, then you probably know what I'm talking about. Like it's getting you oriented to doing the discussion boards and the learning journals and how the assignments work and blah, 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 all that boring nonsense. But then I'm also taking a health psychology class, which I'm more interested in. Um, <clears throat> I've taken a regular psychology class before, but this is a health psychology class. And what's interesting about this class is it is more focused on like the relationship between um, illness and psychology. So they talk more about like how chronic illness affects a person psychologically, how illness in general affects a person psychologically. Um, it obviously talks about different um, mental illnesses and things like that, but it's more broad and not necessarily so specific but certain weeks are completely focused on like how illness can affect someone and how chronic illness affects someone um, and like different things that are caused from being chronically ill or um, being ill in general. So I'm definitely interested. Like I said, I'm really nervous. I do have to, what I'm more nervous about is like the math classes because I have to do, um, an algebra class and a statistics class and there's another math class but I can't remember what it was um, and I'm really not good <laughs> with that kind of stuff um, I have taken when I was in nursing school previously I took a um, intro to statistics class so I kind of know what I'm getting myself into there and just the ratios confused the heck out of me so I'm not really looking forward to that when I get to that class and honestly I'm probably going to push that as far as I can <laughs> um 
but there's only so far that you can push a statistics class because I believe before I can take my um, epidemiology class, I believe I have to take the statistics class. Um, but there are a few classes that I'm really interested in, um, and I can talk more about that once I get to them, obviously, but just reading through like the courses that you need to graduate, um, because I need to take 40 classes so that I can graduate. Um, it's 39 if you don't count the stupid orientation one that I have to do this term. Normally, um, as a full-time student, because I am going as a full-time student, normally as a full-time student, you can take three classes, but I kind of got accepted to this term at the last minute because I applied like literally two weeks before the term started. And so they were like, as long as you have your high school diploma, then we'll let you start with the next term. So that was cool. Um, I'm glad that I didn't really have to wait to, um, like wait until April, I think is the next term after this one. So I'm kind of glad that I got it in like in time to not have to wait for the next term to start. But at the same time, it's a little like, I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on over here. Um, like I said, I'm super excited about starting this bachelor's degree and just seeing where this will take me. Um, I've been looking into other avenues as far as like what I want to do after um, because there are a whole lot of options available to me after I get my bachelor's degree, obviously. Um, I can go to med school. I can go to PA school. I can get a job in... Um, like healthcare management, I can get management jobs with a bachelor's degree. And obviously I have healthcare experience because I've been a nationally certified phlebotomist for almost a year and I've been a CNA for four years. So I have experience, but you know, we'll see. I, I don't know exactly what I want to do with it. I've been looking into like occupational therapy programs and physical therapy programs and stuff like that. I just haven't really like nailed down exactly what I want to do yet. So I will make another video about that. Like as far as what I've been looking into, kind of what the requirements are and stuff like that. And um, I'm just super excited. So definitely please stay tuned for my channel. I will be giving you guys updates on like how school is going, how my classes are going as I go through them, obviously. Um, but like I said, this term, it's just that stupid orientation class and then the health psychology class. And maybe when we go through the weeks where they're focused on like illness and psychology, chronic illness and psychology, maybe I'll have topics that I can share with you guys um, that we address during our class time. So if that's something you guys would be interested in, definitely let me know. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you guys again tomorrow.